Welcome to the November edition of the South Huntington Public Library's Adult Services Department Take and Make series. This month, we will be creating a mason jar lid thankful sign. Let's begin. Supplied in your kit is the following. Eight canning jar rings and lids, eight fall fabric squares, a set of letters, a bottle of tacky glue, some twine, and some decorative ribbon. First, separate the rings from the lids. Place a square of material under one of the rings. Cut the square of material to fit around the perimeter of the ring, leaving a small overlap so that when the lid is inserted into the ring, the fit is snug. You can trace the shape of the ring onto the back of the material as a guide and cut a bit beyond the trace line. Once you are satisfied with its placement, glue the material to the lid. Repeat this step for each lid. Allow ample time for each piece of material to adhere to the lid before proceeding to the next step. Next, arrange the lids in the order you would like them displayed. Take one of the letters and center it onto the first lid. Please note, the letters are delicate, so use a light touch. Gently glue the letter to the center of the lid. Repeat this step for each lid until all of the letters have been utilized. Before you insert the lids into each ring, add some tacky glue to the inside perimeter of the ring. Place the lid inside of the ring and apply some pressure. It should then sit firmly inside of the ring. Repeat this process with all of the lids and rings. On a smooth work surface, take the twine, leaving about an 8 to 12 inch tail on one end, and weight that end of the twine. Keep the twine taut throughout this process. Take the first ring and, making a loop around the ring, secure the twine at the top of the ring with a knot. Don't worry if the letter is crooked. You will have the ability to straighten out the letters later. Repeat the process seven more times and pay attention to the spacing between the rings. Once you have finished adding the letters to the twine and straightening them out, add a bit of glue to the area where the top knot meets the ring. Apply pressure until the glue sets. Repeat the process. This will keep the ring in place and secure the knot. Leave another 8 to 12 inches of twine at the end of the completed garland. We have given you some ribbon to adorn the ends of the garland. Once you determine placement of the garland, trim the twine to the desired length, create a secure loop, and embellish each end as you see fit. Here is my completed project, which I have hung against my kitchen cabinet doors. We hope you've enjoyed this take and make project. Have a happy Thanksgiving.